In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add and whitelist withdrawal addresses. Not only can this be convenient for making withdrawals, but it can also add an extra layer of security on your account. If for whatever reason a hacker gets inside your account, the only addresses they'll be able to withdraw coins to will be the addresses that you whitelist. If you're still relatively new to LBank, I do have a step-by-step -step beginner tutorial and I'll leave a link for that video in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. This video is not financial advice and is for educational purposes only. If you get some value out of this video, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Let's get into the video. To add and whitelist withdrawal addresses, simply cover right up here to your profile icon. Then from this drop down menu, click on security. And on your security settings page, come right down here to the bottom and you'll find your withdrawal whitelist. Just come over here on the right hand side and click on add. And this will bring you over to a page where you can manage your withdrawal addresses as well as enable whitelisting. So the first thing we need to do is add an address. So we'll come over here on the right hand side and we'll click on add address. Then we'll get a little pop-up window where we can put in the details of our external address. So the first thing we need to do is select a token by clicking right here. And then choose a token from this drop down menu that you wish to add an address for. Or you can search for it in the search bar here, just like so. Now we can see Ethereum up at the top, so I'll go ahead and click on that and I'll add an Ethereum address. Next, we'll need to choose a network by clicking right here. Then we'll get a drop down menu with the available networks. I'll go ahead and just use the Arbitrum network. Then we'll need to paste our withdrawal address into this box right here. This is going to be the deposit address of the destination that we wish to send these coins to. And for this demonstration, I'll keep it nice and simple and I'll use a Coinbase deposit address. So I'll quickly bring Coinbase into frame and I already have this set up with my Ethereum deposit address. But the first thing I need to do is choose the correct network. So I'm going to do that by clicking right here. And I can see the Arbitrum network right down here. So I'm going to give that a click. Now I'm viewing my Ethereum deposit address using the Arbitrum network on Coinbase. So I'm going to copy the address by coming right down here and clicking on this icon here. Now I'll bring LBank back into frame and I'm going to paste that deposit address right here into withdrawal address. Then we can give this address a name by clicking on this box here and I'll go ahead and call this one Coinbase. Just like so. And then to whitelist this address, we'll check this box right here. Then click on confirm. Then we'll get our security verification pop-up window. So the first thing we need to do is request an email verification code by clicking right here on send. Once that email arrives, open it up, get the verification code and enter it into this box right here. After that, you'll have to put in your LBank Google Authenticator code into this box here. If you haven't already bound LBank to your Google Authenticator app, I do have a video on how to get that done. And I'll leave a link for that video in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. Once you enter in your codes, just simply click on confirm. And now you'll see that I've added that address to my contacts right here. And we can see right over here that this address is whitelisted. This is where all your addresses are going to appear as you add them to your account. Now what we need to do is we need to come right up here to withdraw whitelist and click on this little button here. Then you'll get a security verification window again where you'll have to put in your Google Authenticator code. So put in your Google Authenticator code and then click on confirm. Now you'll see that we've toggled withdraw whitelist to on. So going forward, we'll only be able to withdraw coins to our addresses that are whitelisted. So now you'll see when we come up here to wallet, click on spot. Now we'll click on withdraw right here. We'll go ahead and select Ethereum from this drop down menu. Now we'll click on our withdrawal address box. And here's where you'll find your whitelisted addresses. So we'd simply click on the address we wish to use. Then we can proceed to withdraw to that whitelisted address. And that's how you get that done.